here, folks. This is SWA Championship Wrestling. Welcome here to another great show. This is Tim Miner along ringside with me is Rusty the Ref. I am the ringside ref of the SWA and of all professional wrestling. Call it better outside than the referee, Ken can, Dudley, can call it inside the ring. Now, what is this? I'd say, is this for the belt? It is for the belt. It is for? Blackthorn says, yes. And then I come over here, and you say it's for the belt. And he says, no, it's not. It's not. It's a break. What, do you think he's trying to get out of defending his title? Probably. He would try his best to get out of, of putting that title on the line. Well, he better watch Brimstone. Brimstone is capable of taking that belt right off his waist. He had, or right, like right now, right off the table. It's not on his waist. Well, right now the, the title is at the table. I'm just making sure that we're coming through loud and clear. For I have to turn us down back a little bit. Out there in YouTube land, in TV land, Brimstone is the one in the red and black. Blackthorn is the one. And Rusty is our fashion still- consultant. They need to have- Rusty is the one to my left that, hey, you know who he is. He's I'm old and rusty. I'm not wearing stripes tonight. <laughs> well, I'm not wearing stripes either. Hey, do you remember, before we get into some big action here, do you remember when there was a certain wrestler that came out and you and a guy named Davey and I, whoa, there's a return of favor. We turned our chairs around, turned our back to him. I remember that. That was the Boogie Boogie Boy. He got mad. Well, uh, Blackthorn claiming that Brimstone's in his tights. I never saw such a thing. We got another great crowd. Got another great crowd here tonight at SWA. This two weeks in a row that we've had some a great crowd here. We are busting up the scenes. I think Brimstone would pull a man's tights. You remember all those years? You know he would. Blackthorn doing his job of aggravating the referee, aggravating Brimstone, getting a little off their game. Actually, Brimstone just went in and drew some blood, returning the favor, giving Thorne a little receipt there. Thorne got on his honky-tonk man pants tonight. I like the top, though. It's got that, like a x-ray of a skull. Oh, kick to the tummy. Oh, a nice suplex there. Rimstone moving like a machine here. Oh, there's an amigo. Oh. Head got bumped on the ring there. on the eight. And a one count as Blackthorn was able to get to the rope there. Rimstone pinned him a little bit too close to the ropes. He needs to get him more in the middle of the ring. Like we said, uh, we start off here with a United States title match. U.S. title on the line. Your champion is Blackthorn. As Brimstone goes flying in with a big splash, getting the crowd behind him. Brimstone handed out some uh, some pictures for the kids to color tonight of himself. Look at this belly to back. I mean belly to belly. Beautifully executed. And he zooms in. He's still too close. One, to the ropes. two. On the ropes. Uh, still, once again, pinning him too close to the ropes. Needs to get him out to the middle. Ken Dudley right in top of the action. That's, Ken, that's Kenneth Heitch. That's what I said, Ken Dudley. What's the other one's name? Kyle Dudley. Kyle Wilms. Dudley. Irish whip. Big A, like it. Now, why is that called an Irish whip? Did the Irishman bring the top of the morning? I think I'll shoot you across the ring. I'm going to whip you across the ring, laddie, me boy. I don't know. I guess it was uh, something Irish did. Just like a Samoan drop or something big Samoan did. Thorn being Thorn there, choking Brimstone. And I have to, I, I know I point out every week, Tim Meyer doesn't like it. But you've got to be tough to get thorns tattooed on your skull. Come on. Or, you know, not all, not so bright. One of the two. And I didn't say not so bright. That's what Tim Miner was insinuating. What are you going to do when he gets through once his belt back, Tim Miner? Puts the boot to the midsection of Brimstone. 
Here we go. Up and up. Uh, what? Uh, That's the key on right. That's the key on. Rusty, you come in here with you didn't come in here with your illiterate chew tonight. You made fun of it. <laughs> it was not. It wasn't even a chew. It wasn't even close to being a chew. It was like a little squiggly I'm line. Talk about my two or this action. It was sort of a little squiggly line. There's a lot of action going on right now. We don't need to be talking about my two. <laughs> well, both men are down, and yeah, a two right. is a number, and that, Ka- or Kenneth needs all the help he needs in the numbers. It. He may not be able to count. We may have to help him. Six. Holy moly, he's made it to six. <laughs> I've got to get Kenneth to ten. He's getting excited. Brimstone up. But Thorn coming in, giving some poke to the stomach, to the head. Oh. Like that. Uh-huh. Aha. Here we go. Rusty, ring that bell. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match by disqualification is going to be Brimstone. The title does not change hands. As Desperado and Gangster coming out. Even odds a little bit. And here comes Snowman Steve Slaughter and Rockhead Ray Spears to even the odds. We are here ringside, and this matchup is Eric Andrews taking on Nathan Starr. And Nathan Starr, one half of the tag team champion, Shooting Impact. Your referee in this matchup is Kenneth Heitch. It is good to be back in the SWA. This is our second week back. We'll be off next week or on the 14th. So if you're watching this on YouTube. Eric the Dragon Andrews is a, he's an SWA original. We're going to take a five-second timeout as I deck Rusty over here for not doing his job. Oh, yeah. Lesson one, don't turn your back on the Dragon. I think I can get him over to do that to you for a moment. And how, while he's doing it, he needs to hit you, kid. Don't forget the lights. Don't forget the lights. Just, just take it. Whoa! Nice. Hurricanrana there. And a big leg layup there by Nathan Starr. Nathan Starr flying with that leg, using some educated feet, which is what Eric Andrews has been known for throughout his career. Well, I mean, he is, but. Eric's going to go ahead and kick his head off, Tim Miner. You need to kick He might. He calls a timeout. And he's going to get one for nine seconds. He doesn't get any timeouts. Get in a nine-second one. Speaking of timeouts, South Carolina decided not to use theirs and lost to Georgia. And UT. Decided. (laughs) Western Kentucky. Were they they playing Notre Dame? No, they were playing Western. that kind of a defeat. Western Kentucky should not even be playing. Go ahead and hit that kid. It's okay. Hit that kid! Oh, he's coming! <laughs> oh! He's up and over the top rope by Matt, or rather Nathan Starr. Nathan Starr flying out there, now going to put the boots to him. <laughs> Putting the uh, hammering the forearm behind him. Like I was saying. <laughs> two camera. Got a two camera shot going tonight. Oh, that's so, wonderful. Like I was saying, uh, Matt, the Dragon is a SWA original. Oh, and another leg layer there. Goes for the pinfall. One, two. He was one of the trainees around 12, 14 years ago. Eric he's Andrews, we've seen, we've seen him. We've seen this guy grow, you know, from a small blonde-headed kid to an old bald-headed guy. <laughs> I'm old. just kidding. I'm just kidding. You know he misses <laughs> I know. <laughs> He was about the size taller, but about the size of Matt and Nathan Starr. Oh, yeah. And has uh, just put on. Actually, he's probably slimmer than that because I've yeah. got video footage going back. I mean, he was always had muscular definition, but he's really, he's turned into quite the wrestler. And you knew when they hit that I ya 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 music he was coming out with oh, yeah. his tag team partner, Matt Corbain. I'm proud to, to know him and have him as a friend and uh, wrestler at SWA. Double feet into the chest area. And now he does have a bad leg. It's been surgically repaired a couple of times. But that two in the business doesn't have something wrong with him. Kevin's oh. going to have a bad hand. Yeah, he slapped that ring silly. <laughs> Man, if he decides to give somebody a chop, I don't know if they can take it. Like that. Look out. 
Wow, and Nathan, Sta- Nathan Starr. <laughs> slap out. Look, he, he's dead weight. We're going to work over the arm. <laughs> You're asleep? Well, let's see what this does to you. I'll bend your arm into a pretzel. Well, Nathan Starr. Too bad he couldn't go working over that arm. Pinfall because it appeared that the dragon was knocked out. Sort of has a hammer lock with his leg in between it. <coughs> and a little extra torque on it. A little bit close to the ropes, and Eric Andrews finally gets over to the ropes. And Nathan's staying on attack here. He's in attack mode tonight. Well, he has to. He's given up a lot of weight, a lot of experience. He's given up uh, anything that he can do, Eric Andrews move-wise can do as well. So. Big, rough man. Wrestled everywhere in the southeast that there is a place to wrestle. Well, Eric Andrews reversed that uh, move right there. Shot, shot him into that corner and come in there with a boot midsection and a couple of crushing blows to the midsection with a shoulder block. There he goes, bringing him back across this side of the ring. And now he's still asking everybody who's the greatest. Well. Oh, and the greatest just got his head kicked. If he's insinuating that he was the greatest. Oh! Once again, I think he's too close to the ropes. One, two. Once again, he is too close to the ropes. What a man, Nathan Starridge. He just got up on the second rope and hit Eric Andrews Dragon in the face with his junk. you got to be tough to do that. Oh, blocks the right hand. And... Not everybody can do that. That hurts. Oh, a poke to the eye. He hurt his smack. That hurts, too. And now you're going to see some of that force from the extra strength that um, the dragon has. Eric Dragon He's posted his knee right there in the spine just below the neck. Torquing on that neck. Well, he said he's pulling his hair, but he has no hair up there. Rear chin lock. He's biting him. What's your taste like? A double decker. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken, turkey. You know every person in here wants to bite him. <laughs> yeah, well, all these girls, just all these girls want to go up and bite him. Two or three of the guys. All these naughty little girls. I saw a three-year-old running through the crowd wearing a... Some of you girls should drop to your knees and repent right now <laughs> for what you're thinking about Matt and Nathan Starr. Well, at this moment, Nathan Starr. Kenneth Hyde telling Eric Andrews to stay off the throat. He's trying to choke the life out of Nathan Starr. Got him by the hair. Let me get this straight. Is his middle name Hype or Hyde? His name is Heitch. Heitch? Heitch. Like, like high chair but without the air. H I T C H? Yeah, Heitch. Kenneth Heitch. Kenneth Heitch Dudley. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Funny middle name. There's your whip. Dragon whip into it. There's your big drop kick. Oh, I'd say probably the dragon. Oh, Rusty's going to agree that the dragon is the greatest. Why wouldn't I? You're afraid. Of course, you know, we literally, we talked about watching it. Eric grow up, you know, from a... Kenneth Heitch getting a stare down there from Eric Andrews as Andrews felt like it should have been a three count. Heitch has... Has a slow count, but it's all in the same rhythm every time he counts. So to me, that is legal. That's fair enough. Now, if he jumps down there and counts to three real fast, like Jesse, <laughs> you know, might be, know, I might Jesse, question that. It, when, but it depends on who it's on. When Jesse decides the match is over, you might as well forget it. Is Jesse here tonight? You, you can't see his hand move. Jesse James Dudley is here tonight. <laughs> Slow and methodical, Eric Andrews. Wait for his opportunity. (laughs) Big, powerful clubbing elbow or forearm. He's pulling his his do-rag off, I think. He's got it on his neck. Make a middle note. Do not wear a do-rag in the ring anymore. 
Or are they not allowed to wear do rags in the ring? Eric huh? Andrews will choke you with it. He'll choke you with it two times. Kenneth Heitch Dudley will let him. He's not choking him and trying to get it off his head. He was pulling his hair. Now he's trying to untie it. <laughs> he got up, so Eric put him back down. A few more words for the referee. Yeah, help me out there, Rusty. I need your Don't help. Don't turn your back on. There you go. You got to keep up on Nathan Starr at all times. <laughs> Going to choke him some more with his do rag. Once again, note to Nathan: Don't wear your do rag to the ring when you're wrestling. That's the team, by the way. He finally, he no, he got one of them off. There's still one of them on. He wore two of them. Well, referee's he, asking Eric Andrews if he used that bandana. Just wipe his sweat. Around the throat. Oh, that's Eric's bandana. He keeps right there on his side. Sets him up, going to suplex him, holding him up, letting that blood rush to his head. Still got him oh. up and down. That could be it. it, it you are the greatest. Great. You're saying, Eric, <laughs> Please don't kick my table, Rusty. That was not me as Desperado. Well, I'll kick Desperado if he kicks my table. There's a two count. <laughs> a bunch of rules, Tim Miner. I don't have any rules. You just need to follow them. <laughs> I haven't made any new ones. You just don't follow the old ones. Right. No need to have you. You need to work on following those old rules. No need to collect all the guns. I even made your job easier tonight, and then you can't even do it. As Eric Andrews rakes the eyes of Nathan Starr. Rusty gets scolded by Tim Miner. <laughs> I'm not talking to you anymore. Scoops him up. Body slam there by Eric Andrews. Andrews. Going to going to climb up the ropes. Yep. Now, he used to come off that top rope with that frog splash. He's going for it. Haven't seen him do that in a while. He's getting up there. He's waiting too long, though. Don't wait so long, Eric. The crowd chanting, you suck. To Eric Andrews. Why would they say that about Nathan Starr? He's your hero. Oh! Oh! Tried to come off the middle rope with a leg drop, and oh. Nathan Starr moves out of the way. To get to Reds on the. Never mind. Moves across the yard like that. Nathan Starr back on attack. Big right hand by Nathan Starr. Big right hand by Eric Andrews. Whoa, we about knocked him out. And here's one by Nathan Starr. Why does Nathan Starr cheat so much? They're going fist for fist, punch for punch, toe-to-toe in the middle of the ring. And Kenneth Heights just kind of standing off, allowing it to happen. Needs to get in there and tell him to open up that hand. Oh, double kick. That's a 20. Two tails. Both men kicking each other right upside the head, and both men down, and Kenneth Heitch gets to work on his counting abilities once again yes, as he's yes. at the number five. Both of these men could have finished matches with this move. This is a finishing move. They might have finished each other. <laughs> Dragging up. Nate up. Double axe handle, double axe handle. And shoulder block. Nose or double axe handle. Thrust to the throat. Fist to the jaw. Kick to the thigh. What did you see a thrust to the throat? By Nate Stark. No, Kick. he gave him a shot to the midsection. Why would you sit in a lie on tape? Why are you, well, you covered up for me? We all saw a karate thrust to the throat. Oh, yeah. He stopped that. There oh. He stopped that. Came back with his own kick and a DDT. Stood him on top of his head. One, two. You're right. And a two count. You can count to five before he comes to two. But I like it. 
It gives the man a fair chance. Like I said, as long as he doesn't jump down and change his change his, um, his, speed of his speed on it, depending on who it's for. There's a chin breaker by Nate on Eric. Oh, be careful now. Nathan Starr going up to the top rope. You know, this is not good for Nathan Starr. He's got a tag team match coming up here in a little bit. Man, well, why did he sign this? Hits the swanton bomb. Got a head right into One, the ribcage. Two. And a kick out before the count of three. Okay. You're not going to pin Eric the Dragon Andrews with a just simple pinfall. Pin laying across him. You're going to have to hook some tights. Hook both legs, hook some tights, uh, pull his hair. Go have to do something. Kick to the midsection there by Nathan Starr. Shoots him across. I like that. That was a good move by Eric. There it is. Oh. And it's over. Pele. That should be it. (laughs) Good luck with that. Eric Andrews telling the referee that he needs to get. (laughs) Yeah, he can't count. Good luck with him counting to three. One. Two. He did a two count. Three again. <laughs> What's up for that? Eric Andrews looks at Kenneth Heitch and is like, "Are you kidding me? How in the yeah. how in the Blue Blazers did you not get to the count of three? Right. But it took Eric Andrews too long to sit down there. He should have he should have went for the immediate pin. Well, he, instead of trying to teach Kenneth Heitch how to count. That's he's unteachable. <laughs> Maybe it should be like Dudley when he first started wrestling, coming off being a referee and do his own count. Eric Andrews chopping away at Nathan Starr. Nathan Starr, Big he's going guts. to suplex him off that, off the rope, off the top of, of that turnbuckle. Are you ready? What's he Oh, fighting back! Shots in midsection there by Nathan Starr. Oh, now Eric Andrews popping him upside the head. Both these guys in a dangerous predicament. Please don't superplex the dragon this on the contrary. Oh, a headbutt. That's new for Nathan. He doesn't. Nathan Starr using the noggin. It's more like a desperado move. He's going to fly. Come on, dragon. Here he comes. Oh, flying cross body block. Lands it, but it might have it hurt him too. Hurt him. Caught those oh, ribs. here comes Fred Flintstone and Bar- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, uh, Tim Man Tim Scruggs. I say that. Why am I ringing the bell? The match is over. It's a disqualification. Coming out and interfering is the Tim Man Tim Scruggs and James Dudley. You need to get Nathan. And here comes Matt Star out to even out the odds. Once again, the winner of the match by disqualification is Nathan Starr. Shoot an impact! You cheated us out of our belts last week! Everybody seen us beat you one, two, three for our SWA Tag Team Champions! This check right here we started the match after we done won. He wouldn't quit until y'all did win. And then he wouldn't give you five more minutes. I tell you what, Tim Meyer, you can stack the cards against us all you want to. Tonight, we're taking our titles back. I tell you what. You had better think, Metal Heart, and give us a title shot tonight. Because I tell you what, buddy. We don't care. Eric Andrews had your number. He was embarrassing you in front of all these people. He whipped you like a dog. 
Yeah. And out of the kindness of our heart. We saw it. We saved your life, Hulk. He was beating you just like a red-headed stepchild. No offense, you red-headed stepchildren. So now we deserve a title shot tonight. Dudley just said they reached, already beat him. They had to walk. Well, Tasha, we saved your life. This man right here was fixing to hurt you real, real bad. He was. And Kenneth Heights was about to count to three for the first time. I tell you what, brother, we get our tag team titles back tonight. We'll go out, we'll celebrate, we'll have a good time, we'll have the biggest party Nashville has ever seen. Oh, oh, you pretty ladies, you'll be invited. Boyfriends friends and husbands, stay at home. I'll tell you one thing, Dudley and old Tim, let me tell you, Tin Man, Tim Scruggs, y'all are not going to get these belts back, and I promise you, me and Matt Starr will make sure of this, you will not get those belts back without a fight, and that's a promise. LaFay, yeah. Tennessee, would you like to see Matt Nathan Starr get too hyped? On two sore wannabe rock stars. How about that? I tell you what. To the minor, I do want the belts on the line. The tag team titles will be on the All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back here. SWA Championship Wrestling, Mexican Dragon taking on Chris Rado. Well, folks, here we go. The Mexican, uh, Desperado's calling a timeout to stretch Well, Desperado's out. wanting a timeout. Mexican Dragon from uh, Mexico City taking on Desperado from San Antonio. This brother is no stranger to the SWA. Well, actually, Mexican Dragon is no stranger to the SWA. He's coming in the mouth. Rusty, are you cut. talking over me? I'm sitting over there talking. I, you might have well, been talking over me. Let's we'll start over. Well, uh, we're all right. We had some technical technical difficulties. Yeah, I, was talk, I was talking about good stuff. Well, folks... The match is underway, and the Dragon putting the boots to Big Desperado. High knee. Go ahead and call it, Rusty. I'm going to go take care of some business. Riminus to wrestling, too. In comes the Dragon. Oh, nice little rolling thunder type move. I like this Dragon. Full of confidence, except I can't understand him. I need someone who can speak dragon to interpret for me. Interpret, interpret for me. I think I just spoke some dragon. <laughs> Did you say? Are and, you back already? Uh, yeah, I, I. You were leaving. I'm going to go ahead and stay here. The dragon just did a handstand on Desperado. Now we play. saw the dragon a few times uh, in another promotion. I'm sorry, we, we saw the dragon a few times in another promotion. It's good to see him here in the SWA. Yes. Well, he's wrestled in and out of the SWA whenever he's in the country. He was. Oh, well, shot to the midsection there by Desperado. Yes. Well, folks. Once again, if you've never been to a live SWA show, be sure and get your way down here because bring your mom and him. It is 
just something, excitement in the air. Good family atmosphere as far as wrestling can be. And now Mexican Dragon going up that top rope. Going to fly off with a swanton bomb and nobody is home. Now here's all you would-be wrestlers out there. Your assignment. I want you to get up on top of the dresser in the bedroom. And I want you to flip over to a backdrop in the middle of the floor. That's what it's like to be a professional wrestler. Put the old lady out there. Don't tell don't show the fans to do that. They're not supposed to try this stuff at home. Put the old lady out there in the middle of the floor. You're going to do a... Your old lady? Honor. You're yeah. going to put your old lady... Yeah. Or your mom and him. Anybody? I don't think you should call your wife an old lady. It was, well, that's... I wouldn't call my wife the old I know, lady. But I know, but we, a lot of people say my old lady. I don't I think that's disrespectful. I do, too. I don't like calling her mama. I call, you, I call your mama old lady. That's all right. She is an old lady. <laughs> I don't like calling her mommy or mommy or mom or whatever either. Backdrop. The red of suplex. A pin. Hook a leg. And a two count. Always now, you know Sam Houston, that turd over here. The third. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, the dragon almost went out. Sam's going to pop him. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't figure out which slide was which. I think he's trying to push it through the back of his neck. <laughs> well, he couldn't find the eye holes on his mask to see if that was if he was laying frontwards or backwards. <laughs> <laughs> uh, technical question. Does it hurt if I hold the microphone? Did it defect the sound anyway? No. Okay. Sam put it to him over here with a cane. <laughs> Sam, uh, very proficient with that cane now. <laughs> he's afraid to hit the Mexican. <laughs> he's afraid he's going to start World War II. <laughs> I thought three. three. Oh, we've already had two? Yeah, we had two. <laughs> I knew that. Yeah. I knew that, Jack. My dad and your granddad fought it. I don't know if my granddad did or not. My granddad's probably in an Indian war. Look at this. Boom. What a One, two, and referee Kyle Wilms, Dudley. Thank you. Almost counted at two. He's the one that has a hard time counting. Oh, he, he's got two. He's just three. He's still gets stuck on. <clears throat> Dragon's going to fly. Going up to the second rope. Going up to the top rope. Lucha Libre style. One time. Onto the upper chest and shoulder. Oh, that'll stretch your leg out of socket. We got a three. He got a pinfall. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the match by pinfall is the Mexican Dragon. Press with this dragon. And Dragon doesn't. He's going after a Desperado, and here comes Gangster. Watch out behind you. Who would have thought that somebody would jump on Desperado like that? Well, well Desperado's a sore loser. Yes, he is. In comes the Snowman. And, and Rocket, right they're rumbling, bumbling, stumbling out here. They ran like like Forrest Gap out here. Run, Forrest, run. Once again, your winner of the match by pinfall is Mexican Dragon. Why did he attack Desperado? Did you see him attack Desperado? What are they doing out here again? Well, why is he attacking you after he... He accidentally pinned you by pulling your tight. <laughs> That's your move. You're the one attacked that. <laughs> he got pinned. He pulled his tights. By the Mexican dragon. We all saw One, it. two, three, right in the middle of the... Yes, After sir. he pulled his tights. No. Shut your mouth. You know. You seen it. And everybody else here see. You had my tights up. I couldn't move. You know you did. I don't know what y'all doing back out here. This ain't nothing y'all can serve. This between me and that ball-headed Mexican right there. Ball-headed Mexican. Let me tell you something, Tim Hey. 
I heard something a while ago that you put us in a six-man tag night. Yeah. We didn't sign for that, and we not going to do it. Yes, you will. We not going to do it. Yes, he's already signed it. What are you talking about? We got his signature. Gangster will do it, I'm telling you. Hey, Desperado. We're going to do it. See, I told you. We're going to do it. Desperado Rock. He should have known. We're going to beat them so ugly, even their mama won't love them no more. Well, we know Desperado. We're going to beat them so ugly. They mama ain't going to love them no more. Gangster can draw an X. He can only. You can shut your mouth before I make you sit there and find me. For slapping you. We're having a night that'll go nowhere. Nowhere. It'll be on YouTube this week. <laughs> Once again, your winner of the match by pinfall is the Mexican Dragon. And we still have our six man tag match for the main event. Ladies and gentlemen. This matchup is scheduled for one fall. It is for the SWA Tag Team Titles. Your champion, Shooting Impact, taking on Metal Heart. Your referee of this matchup is Jesse James. Why are they cheering for Jason James like that? I mean, uh, he is a senior referee, but, uh, you know, he's a SWA fixture, but what a, what a pop Jesse James got. Tim Miner, Jesse James is going to pop like Rudy. Well, the Tim Man Tim Scruggs over here play a bit playing more. a little bit of rock and roll guitar. <laughs> got to play some music. Give me a beat. The move my soul. We want him hit with an axe. Sam Houston the third. We want him in handcuffs. We want him in handcuffs and tased and ass. <laughs> you just saw a future wrestler of the SWA come and take the Tin Man's guitar away from him. The Tin Man Tim Scruggs. We did upset. Change. We did His guitar got we stolen. Arrested. But the roadie has a backup. That's okay. Every professional musician has a backup guitar on standby in case something happens to his good one. In case his strings break. <laughs> Don't trust the roadie with it, Tin Man. He just lost the other one. Once again, this matchup is scheduled for one fall. <laughs> it's for the SWA Tag Team titles. We the referee is Jesse James. This is a family show. We don't go for stealing around here. Do something, Do something useful with your commissionership and get the Tin Man's guitar back. Well, the Tin Man, well, Jesse James tried to get it back. <laughs> he couldn't get it. He got kicked by a little kid. Well, let's see. If Ronald had done his job, he'd already had that kid tased. He'd have tackled him before he got up to Tin Man. Man. Afraid of Rhodey might get replaced now. Because he lost the guitar. And the referee, Jesse James. <laughs> Checking the Tin Man out. Tin Man put his scarfs on his head or his face. 
<laughs> you gotta love them, folks. Even if you hate them, you gotta love them. I don't think Jesse James checked the Star Brothers out. Quite unique outfits that the metal had on tonight. Metal Heart. Particularly Dudley, he looked like one of the Flintstones. They got on their different colored zebra shorts, tights. Ten men is in the green and black striped tights with pink leggings. Dudley's in the orange and black with black tights. Just come over here. And the Star Boys are in the black tights. Nate is the one with the do-rag that's counting. And here we go. We are underway. Well, the referee never called for the bell to minor, so I just went ahead and rang it since the match had started. Nathan Star, Matt Star starting off on the offensive here. Incoming. <laughs> oh! 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 Can we have a moment of silence so we all go, oh! That would be silence, would it? The Chin Man just headbutted. <laughs> Accidentally headbutted. I think the Chin Man might have a concussion because he hit. He might have. I think he, he hurt Private Dudley. <laughs> Dudley's Private. <laughs> Private Dudley. <laughs> Whatever you want to call him. <laughs> Irish Shrimp reversal there by the Chin Man Tim Scruggs. Duck under by Matt Starr. Tilt the world by Matt Starr. Starr just. Opening the floodgate here. He's wearing a brace on that knee tonight. Front rushing arm drag. Yeah, I had that on last week. You know, he hurt it last year. Bonnie uh, going to protect it a little bit. Nathan Starr flying in with a leg across the chest area of the Tim and Tim Scruggs on that far corner. It was a career ending injury, but turned out that uh, therapy would work for a while anyway. Oh, nice move there by Nathan Starr. Nathan Starr's already went one match tonight. And what a match. With Eric Andrews. I mean, it wasn't like he was, you know, wrestling. Uh, well, Fred Flintstone now sounds like Wilma Flintstone over here. <laughs> He's wearing his, he came out here wearing that, looked like he was from the Flintstone era. Yes. And on the orange. With a whole bit and a orange tie. Ten man wearing hot pink tights with the, uh, <laughs> with the green zebra. I've already done it. <laughs> so go ahead if you like. So you I, I, knew, I knew you had already done it because that's all you have. You are the. You are the uh, fashion guru of SWA. People need to be able to distinguish who the wrestlers are. And when they go to all the trouble, oh, go to all the trouble of getting a new outfit every week. Yeah, but, you, point but you point out exactly down to the T. You're like, he's wearing his sequin tights with a. Nobody's wearing sequin tights. <laughs> that up. And it's done with a 100 stitch thread. <laughs> that. That's that stuff you do. I don't even yeah, mention I it. Don't cheat people out of I don't wins. even mention it. Most people know who the Tim Man Tim Scruggs and James Dudley are. I don't cheat people out of wins like you do. You gave the Tin Man. Right now, Tin Man's the one in the ring, and he's in there with Matt Starr. And Dudley, now Matt Starr is tagging in Nathan Starr. You gave him a raw deal last week. They won fair and square. You gave them five, the Star Brothers five more minutes and thirty seconds. They won their title. They still. You should have given the Tin Man and Dudley. Four minutes and 70 seconds. That's the rest of that five minutes. Well, they got pinned in 30 seconds or less. Three no. seconds. Five minutes less, 34 minutes, 70 seconds. It's the 10 man still out. You owe it. I don't know anybody anything. Where are you going with this? <laughs> you, they should have uh, already had to rematch last week. And it's not 70 seconds, Ryder. Rusty. It's 30 seconds. Kill us all. 
Ta- what did I say last week? You say no drinking stuff. or eating at the table. You say a lot. And you're going to sit here and you almost spilled coffee on the electrical devices at the table? I almost poured it on. Double hip toss with authority there by Metal Heart. And they're going <laughs> to they're gonna rock out. They took time to play their air guitars. The ones you can't see, not the ones you can see. You notice the shoelaces of the 10-man Tim Sprague matches tights. There you go. And what sequin are they? And his do-rag. Well, he painstakingly put them in. There's like 60 different eyelets there on his well, boots. I was going to say that people can't see what color his shoelaces are on this video, but I forgot we're in HD 1080 now. They can see. <laughs> Player's ball right there. I would say that's probably a... That's an SWA term for that. Uh, well, I mean, I would... Since player is no longer with us, I would probably call that uh, a 10 cup. <laughs> or he probably needed a 10 cup ten for that move. Splash. Oh. There we go. Here's a tag. Coming in is James Dudley. I love that double team. That's the kid. Love the double teaming of Metal A Heart. spine buster with some authority there with some help from the the dead, the dead master, the deadly one. <laughs> Nathan needs to tag. He's already been out here for a 15-minute match with Dudley making a sandwich. With the dragon. You can get, you can get out of 10. Did you get the bread ready? There's a two count. That's two. Come on, Jack. Get me. It's a five. Can't believe Jesse James only got the two. Sam Houston, the third outside ring right over here. Third. I said third, didn't I? I got a lisp. (laughs) When I said third, I meant third. Third. Double Irish whip. Oh. Double shoulder block. Double elbow drop. Love it. They look like the Tennessee offensive line today. It gets no better than that, Tim Miner. You want to know right now what is going to set SWA head and shoulders over every other organization metal heart right there. Do they have Metal Heart on their TV show, on their YouTube show, on their show? They're no. coming, are they coming out with their own cartoon? They might do it. <laughs> it's coming. Bonsai dropped there, but deadly. It's beautiful. And the team man coming over here. Jewelry. Nobody will notice that. <laughs> he put it right there in his crotch. Nobody will see it. It be... Nice drop kick there. Usual. Nice drop kick there by Dudley. Case you wondered, he Tim Man came out and got a his bullet belt, a belt made out of bullets, dropped him down his tights. And Nathan Starr throw it outside the ring over here, right in front of our table. We might have to take a moment of silence here for Nathan Starr. And the Tin Man gonna work over him right here in front of our cameras. Uh oh, uh oh. This isn't going to be good. Oh. Suplex on the concrete. Going to do another? I hope not. No, he's going to put him in. For Dudley to pin. There he goes. Oh. <laughs> Cut the fill out of 10 minutes tight. Oh. He got bullets. Yeah, it's a bullet belt. Ten men has wore him out with his bullet belt. Fix it. <laughs> and he throws it to his roadie and says, fix it.
Irish, oh, nice move there by Dudley. Of course it was. It's James Dudley. What do you think? He gave, him a a, gave him a chop block. <laughs> Dudley's made a sandwich. He's done the bonsai swing shot. Distracting the referee while he gets a chair. Oh boy. Here we go. Dudley just posted Nate Starr on the turnbuckle and Pin Man hit him in the leg with a chair. The Tim Miner asked me none of that happened. There was no cheating involved here. Doing a laxadavio count. Jesse counted two. Jesse down again. Two. Two count. Two count by Dudley. Okay, Dudley. Get it. Get his tights. Ten men's got a cane. Once again, a two minor ass. Nobody saw it. You know, he's liable to give the Star Brothers five more minutes if he sees that cane. Oh! Dudley dropped down and popped Nate in the kisser. Thank you. Oh, the lovely Miss Teresa. Oh! Nathan Starr getting beat down with his cane over here by the Tin Man Jim Scruggs. Okay. Who is the legal man? The 10 man tag? Yes, 10 man tag. In. I don't think they ever tagged. I don't think it matters at this point. What matters is which one of them is going to break Nathan Starr's leg. And I hope he doesn't break it. I like, I like to have the Star Boys around for Metal Heart to be done. You know, there's a second thing that makes SWA show better than all the rest is uh, their YouTube show, their TV show, their live show, their mama show, I don't care who show. They don't have the Star Brothers either. Third thing, they don't have Dead Parano. They don't have James, they don't have Eric Andrews. Should I keep going on? They don't have him neither. They don't have Rusty the Ref. They don't have Sam Houston. They don't have the roadie. Right now, the Chin Man, Tim Scruggs, has Nathan Starr in a bad situation. Whips that leg down to the mat. I apologize for my moment of shooting there. And I'll go back to calling the match the Tin Man. I've always said the Tin Man. Oh, metal heart. that leg over. He is our fabulous one. He is our fantastic. He is our. Oh, double chop block. That's an illegal block. Did not express. He's all that rolled into one. He's the metal heart with James Dudley. He is the rock and roll express. You just go on and on. They're almost the big dogs. Not quite that big, but. Figure four leg lock there. This locked in. in by James Dudley. They worked on that leg quite a bit. <laughs> Sam Houston over here fanning the 10 man's fanning. Uh oh, Nathan Starr has turned it over. <laughs> Jesse James going over. 10 man came in for an eye rake, it looks like. Jesse James distracted by Matt Starr and the Tin Man able to get in and rake the eyes you know, of Nathan. Can't you just see Matt Starr complaining? Oh, Mom, please, let me go outside, please. <laughs> this isn't right. This isn't fair. I'm, are you kidding me? <laughs> Everything he does is the referee. Oh, I'm sorry. I won't do it anymore. Am I going to have to ban you from my table? You may have to. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Dudley's do rag was sticking straight up in the air. 
has a tag. Hey, mind, you're not allowed to have a drink at the table. You're going to have to move that. Double Irish whip. Oh, the double clothesline by Matt Starr coming in. Jesse James trying to get him out of the ring. And he should. I thought I saw a tag. How did they tag? Nate Starr's over here. He gave him a blind tag. On the of the ring. When he got thrown into the ropes, he gave him a blind tag. Right, he's blind. He didn't tag. No, the blind one in the ring is Jesse James. Oh, yeah. That is a requirement of being a referee. And they continue to work over that leg of Nathan Starr. Tonight, trying to get in the ring. Are you going to say they tagged again, Tim Miner? I didn't see a tag that time. That's because they did. But now Jason let him stay in there. <laughs> Probably. Jesse trying to get out, get him out, and trying to stay I mean, out of the way. Jesse's lost. He's like, where, where, where do I go from here? He's trying to get out of the way. Oh. Yeah, Matt should have stayed outside. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he just got his head taken off of. Somebody, somebody just fly out of the ring. Was that a nipple? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Shot blocked by. Boy, they're doing a lot. Block. They must have watched the football game today. There was a couple of those called against uh, somebody today. Ian coming. Dudley over the top rope. Glad they found the button for the air conditioning, Tim Miner. It was getting pretty warm earlier. Figure four. This could be it. Right in the middle of the ring. Oh, oh small back. It's one, two, three. He got him. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the match by pinfall. Nathan Starr and Matt Starr shooting impact. And they are still your tag team champions. Five more minutes. Five more minutes. <laughs> the Star Brothers knocked Dudley's do rag off. They're fighting everywhere. Tin Man using something over there on Matt Star, a wrench or something. A pair of pliers. Dudley down on the floor right out here. Oh, this is going to be brutal. Oh. That's that shooting star press by the. Oh. Somebody needs to get the Star Boys out of here. They're handcuffing Matt Star to the ring. Come on now. The Tin Man has handcuffed Matt Star to the. Over here in the left hand side corner. Dudley just super kicked Matt Starr, the handcuffed Matt Starr. Tin Man just heel kicked Nate Starr right there in the middle of the ring. Going to make a wish now. Come on now, guys. The match is over. He broke the handcuffs. He's in trouble now. He broke the handcuffs over here. He got out of them. Come on now. The match is over. I think Dudley's mad now. Tin Man using that chair on Nathan Starr. Here comes the Calvary. Well, 
Minnesota big old boy came out here. Probably one of Ray Spears' kids. Once again, the winners of the match and still your tag team champions are Nathan Starr and Matt Starr. This match, they may have the still have the belt, but they did not win the match. Look who's standing, look who's walking away. It's very obvious, very obvious who the winners are here, Tim Miner. It's Metal Heart. You, winners of the match are the shooting impact. Metal Heart, you need deciding to get, to get Metal Heart their belts back. They're the obvious winners. Rock on. And Metal Heart over here bombing the photos. By... <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead and give them the belts as they walk by. They won. Fair and square. Jesse, he's doing a 10 bell salute to the Star Brothers. I don't guess I rank it enough. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I just want y'all to congratulate Metal Heart on their moral victory. Even though that man was slippery and I slipped and sweat and he got lucky and held my trunks till my shoulders was pinned. I didn't think both shoulders was down. They weren't. We deserve our bells back. Give me a yeah if you want to hear me. Well, we our bells back. Do the right thing, Kim Meyer. Give them their belts. Don't you ever have anything nice to say about these people? What should I do? Let me think. Let me look around. <laughs> they show up every week. Hey, she's got a nice tooth. Nice tooth. It may be one, but hey, it's nice. <laughs> Once again, the winners of the match. Shooting impact. And they are still your tag team champions. They tried to handcuff Matt Starr in the corner. Well, that's funny because I had to bust my hind in a first match that y'all rudely interrupted. Rudely interrupted. Now, you want to come out here, get beat fair and square. You get beat fair and square, and you can't take it. You can't take it because you lost. Because you're in a winner's game now. We have the belt. That's the way it's going to stay, guys. I'm sorry, but you're not going to beat us. We got this. You want to handcuff my boy? You want to give me a headshot? It's getting personal, boys. It's getting real personal. It got personal with us when we got cheated out of our belts last week. But tell you what, we'll come and get them under one condition. You get Uncle Fester and Lurch out of the ring. Spunk, last time I seen you, you was waxing my car. Now you gonna turn your back on me for a bunch of sterlets? 
You get to you get the sideshow, the goofballs, out of the ring, and we're gonna teach y'all a lesson. Get that, get that gold out of the ring. Need someone I want to see us get back in the ring. That's good. How you want to see you? Y'all want to see Metal Heart get back in the ring? Five more minutes. Five more minutes. Y'all want to see them get back in the ring? Y'all want to see them? Shooting Impact is inviting Metal Heart to get back into the ring. They don't want that. Empire. I don't know. If who, they, Metal Heart or? Metal Heart don't want, the Devil Heart wants. <laughs> Did you say Metal Heart's chicken? No, the, the twins don't want that. They don't know what they're asking for. You need to stop this, Tim Miner. Well, Metal Heart got back in the ring, got thrown back outside the ring, and now they're thrown back inside the ring. You need to get these behemoths out of here. It's just extra fun. <laughs> that matter, this isn't oh. right. You need to get the interference out. And Metal Heart. Ten Man picks up Dudley, and they're on their way. <laughs> Out. Yeah. I'm guessing to go. I'm guessing to go to the next gig. Once again, your winners of the, winner's the match, tag Super team champions. A, down the side, Should've wearing black right. boots with you kind of silver right. colored. It's beginning. Shit. to Rockhead Ray Spears <laughs> is beginning to look a lot like Dixie. <laughs> He's got the uh, and snowman. Snowman. On. Snowman wearing purple with a skull on the. Okay, I'm done with that. It's going to snow up in here tonight with a snowman. The Yeti. Pulling his hair. Why would, why would Brimstone, well, it's Brimstone. Of course Brimstone pulled his hair. What am I, what am I questioning for? Ray, Ray has been absent from the SWA for a while. It's good to have him back. So is Snowman. Both of them took a hiatus. Well, at first, when I looked at Gangster, I thought he was wearing leggings. No, those are... Uh, what are those? <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got on blue tights. He's got his black tights over the blue tights. He's a very modest man. Yeah! We're going to get somebody fired up tonight. Oh, Gangster stop Brim's leg. He needs to be over in that other corner. Close line by Thorne. I like Black Thorne. I know he don't want me to like him, but I do. I just can't help it. Pound for pound, he's probably the toughest guy. He's definitely the meanest guy, pound for pound. Referee Kyle Williams is having an issue over there with Rockhead Ray Spears. It's like, how do you say who the meanest man is in this ring right now? That's a Gangster might be. Yeah. Or Ray or Snowman or definitely Black Thorn. Gangster's like a little chihuahua going biting at the heels of a big old dog. Yeah, but he'll take care of business if he needs to. He'll find a way to bring that big old dog down to the ground. I was, I was really, Ooh, I like Big it. back elbow there. That's a five count. That was a two count. That's five, see? Gangster count to three. Referee count to two. <laughs> That's not how it works, is Desperado it? coming in, as Gangster said, gets you just a little bit of this. Oh. Working up that knee of Brimstone. The silverback comes in. 
Desperado, the man from San Antonio. Used to be tag team partners with. What a weekend this weekend has been. SWA, great show tonight. NFL football kicks off tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Your fantasy it, team it is doing – oh, I didn't mean to knock your mic My, my <laughs> fantasy team's already won. I don't know. Jonathan, I think Three he, players. I thought I saw Jonathan curled up like a little baby <laughs> in the fetal position crying. Well, <laughs> I held my nose and picked Peyton Manning, and you could rid me all I want. I'll take oh, no. the eight fantasy points you got me. I told you he was a good I'm pick. Always, I've always said he's a good pick. <laughs> You've well, always I never said he wasn't a good pick. I just don't like the man. You don't like Desperado? Yeah, you can have it. You can Did you just say you don't like Desperado? I like Desperado. I don't. He gets on my nerves sometimes. Sometimes he gets angry with me. For Bell no time. Bell time. Go fire him up. Uh-oh. God, He's pulling his ears. Here we go. Hey, Chard, get back over there. <laughs> he gave you a three. I got to go ahead and give him a ten, so he'll kill him. He gave him a three. <laughs> he does that's the third. No. <laughs> uh. so I'm not sure what he said. Anyway. <laughs> Desperado tag. Uh, I'm sorry, Thorn in. Brimstone fighting his way out. Get you a tag, Brimstone. Get one of those big boys in there. Isn't it interesting when Brimstone's the small man in the ring? Here we go. Big Rockhead Ray Spears. Might be a sternum broke. Just. <laughs> just wait to see what happens. So. Rockhead is the legal man in the ring now. Ford said to Desperado, I think I'll kick him in the left knee. Yeah, uh, Desperado said, no, kick him in the right knee. Gangs said, kick him in both of them. So let's see what happens here. Yeah, get him over there. He's perfectly fine right there. Jack Slaughter said he's not in the right corner. He's over here where he can interfere. The referee should make him get in his right corner. I don't guess it matters. If he doesn't get any more involved than he did last week, it'll be all right. <laughs> I got video footage of it. I didn't put it on YouTube because it was kind of embarrassing. We need to, <laughs> we need to watch that at the radio show. It's like, uh, please quit hitting hitting Snowman. And then when he'd go over and do something, they'd turn and look at him. He'd go running the other way. Yeah. We're talking about Jack Slaughter. Jack Slaughter is at... Ringside, he's over here in the ring entrance. He's he's afraid to get at ringside. You got a 170 pound gangster turns around and 300 pound Jack Slaughter takes off running. <laughs> of course, I would too. It's gangster. <laughs> gangster had the snowman laying on the floor. What what's he gonna do? <laughs> Jack, did you hear Jack Slaughter? No. What did he do? Snowman gets tagged in and says, come on, Pops. <laughs> <laughs> it's his brother. <laughs> Uh-oh. We go. He's going to take the trash it's out. Good. You better be careful what you say, Tim Miner. Ooh, Leap and Lanny Poffo used to do that. Yes. He used to put the guy on the top rope, and then he would lay on his back and just kick him in the stomach, and they would just continually bounce, bounce yeah. off the top rope. We need somebody to do that around here. Oh, oh, Thorne almost got him in a knee. Snowman is cleaning house. Thorne. There's an avalanche coming through. <laughs> tried to jump and hit him in the knee, but he didn't get a good Stand back. There's an avalanche coming through. <laughs> Could be. Ray usually does an avalanche. I can't remember if Snowman does or not. There's a clean tag. In comes the stone. Ready to get his pound of flesh of vengeance. I was saying earlier, Brimstone's probably held the SWA tag belt longer than any other present wrestler in the SWA. Because he, he held it for off and on for three years with Big Digger, and then he's held it with other. Also, 
Yankster. Or rather, Desperado has been tag partners with Ray Spears and with Snowman. Well, looks like it's beginning to look a lot like Dixie again. Rockhead Ray Spears. Back in Gangster in that corner. Oh! Big rock hits, Ray Spears splash. And Del Gribble is down to the mat. A gangster. And why did you call him that? Del Gribble. It looks like Del Gribble off of King of the Hill. Are you sure? Yeah. Tim Miner, the Tin Man's coming out this way. What is the Tin Man Tim Scruggs doing out here? I don't know, but uh, anything he wants to, I guess. The Tin Man Tim Scruggs. <laughs> Taking a picture of Randy's old lady, I guess. I don't know. There's your tag. Desperado comes in. Kyle wins, saying that's a legal tag. Desperado kicking Ray while Brimstone being choked. Well, Desperado's team here is doing what uh, the family, is that what they're called? The stable. What are they called? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah I'm not sure. I <laughs> haven't heard them call themselves. it before they come back. Anyway, they're, they've isolated the smaller man, not the Brimstone small. The two count. In comes. Thorn. Black Thorn. Now, Black Thorn's back from a knee surgery from a oh, little over about a year ago, isn't it? Or has it been a well, year? He was out a, a year. So, yeah, it's been over a year. Well, he didn't have the surgery until midway yeah, through it. True. It's been over a year. It's about summer last year. Oh, back to action here. Thorn with a big drop kick there on. Thorne took all three big men on. Nice drop kick there. And he kicked. Um, That's a problem. These guys, these two giants over there, Ray and Snowman. You know, for big men, Snowman's very agile. Got a big, he can do that big kick. We already saw him do one earlier over in the turnbuckle. Off. Double accidental from uh, Gangster. Gangster coming here and. He's battling with the big man, Rockhead Ray Spears, and all six men going at it now. And look at Jack Slaughter over there, not sure what to do. You know, you think Gangster thought he was going to be wrestling with Metal Militia tonight? Wore his blue tights. And... Don't tell him I said that now. Uh-oh! Uh-oh! Uh-oh he can run for it, big boy! Jack Slaughter chasing... <laughs> did that. I'm impressed. What is Jack? What is uh, Sam Houston the turd is in the ring? He doesn't realize that Rockhead Ray Spears is right behind him. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, there you go. Rakishi, yeah. Rakishi, Rakishi for the turd. I mean the third. That is the yeah. That I guess it is. No man holding him there. Thorn got uh, DDT. Oh! Whoa! Stink face coming up. <laughs> I told you he was the third, the turd, the turd. <laughs> no argument. Now he matches his name. No argument. In comes Gangster with a stick. He might have made the mistake of not hitting him. Uh-oh, and the referee didn't see it, but here slides in. One, two, three. Gangster. Ladies and gentlemen, the winners of the match by pinfall, the team of Gangster, Desperado, and Blackthorn. You all right? Are you all right, the third? That's a turd now. <laughs> He smells great. 
He can't breathe. He don't want to. He smells like a turd now. They could have won that earlier, but they're waiting for Sam Houston to get steep. Once again, it's not on. The winners of the match, the team of Desperado, Blackthorn, and Gangster. I told y'all to over large fellas. And you too, Uncle Fester. Don't keep coming back for more because you just ain't going to win, boys. You just ain't going to do it. But if you want some more, come back. We'll give you some more.